Today, we're diving into the jaw-dropping journey of a company that took a simple inspiration from a chicken and turned it into a billion-dollar brand. Yes, you heard that right. What do you get when you mix a chicken, a dash of innovation, and a whole lot of passion? You get a story that's as unique as it is inspiring. So, lace up those shoes, because we're diving headfirst into the incredible tale of how New Balance turned a chicken into a style sensation. Get ready to walk the path of innovation, because this is a story like no other. Hey there, sneaker heads and history buffs. Welcome to Money.TV, a channel dedicated to entrepreneurs who risked it all to create today's most iconic brands. Let's get started. Our story begins in the early 1900s in Boston, Massachusetts. Meet William J. Riley a local pharmacist and inventor. Now, you might be wondering, what does a chicken have to do with this? Well, Riley's inspiration struck while observing the balanced walking motion of a chicken. He saw an opportunity to apply this principle to footwear and help people walk more comfortably. In the early 20th century, an English immigrant named William J. Riley found himself in Boston, Massachusetts, with a curious fascination for balance. One day, while observing a chicken's claw, he was struck by the natural balance and stability of its three-pronged foot. This seemingly ordinary encounter with a chicken would prove to be the inspiration behind an extraordinary innovation. Driven by a vision to create comfortable and balanced footwear, Riley embarked on a mission to design a shoe that mirrored the chicken's inherent equilibrium. In 1906, he unveiled his creation, the very first New Balance shoe. What set Riley's invention apart was its unique arch support system, meticulously designed to provide unparalleled balance and comfort. This shoe quickly gained recognition among the local community for its superior quality and performance. Little did William J. Riley know that his humble beginning, rooted in an observation of a chicken's foot, would lay the foundation for a brand that would later become synonymous with comfort, quality, and innovation. The journey of New Balance had begun, and it was destined to leave an indelible mark on the world of footwear. The introduction of the Traxster running shoe in 1960 marked a pivotal moment in the company's history. What set the Traxster apart was its groundbreaking ripple sole design, which provided enhanced traction and stability for runners. However, the true hallmark of New Balance was its unwavering commitment to ensuring that shoes fit comfortably and performed flawlessly. A game-changing innovation from New Balance that catered to a wide range of foot shapes and sizes was the introduction of a variety of width options for their shoes. This emphasis on customized fits helped them stand out from rivals and struck a chord with customers looking for comfort without sacrificing quality. The advantages of footwear made specifically for their individual demands were immediately realized by runners, athletes, and regular people. This dedication went beyond just creating shoes. It also focused on giving people the tools they needed to perform at their peak, whether that be on the track, in the gym, or throughout their daily activities. The business did not experience exponential growth until Jim Davis acquired it in 1972. At that time, the business only had six employees and produced 20 to 30 pairs of shoes every day. In order to meet the spike in demand, Davis made significant investments in capital enhancements that would expand capacity. Moving into the 1970s and 80s, New Balance underwent a remarkable evolution that propelled it further into the athletic footwear spotlight. During this period, the brand introduced the iconic N logo, which would become synonymous with quality and performance. As the fitness industry continued to expand, so did New Balance's product line. They diversified beyond running shoes, branching into categories like cross training and basketball. Each new release showcased the brand's dedication to innovation, blending cutting-edge technology with a deep understanding of athletes' needs. In order to promote a sense of equality among all products, the shoes were also given numbers rather than names. With the help of his smart marketing techniques, Davis increased sales from $100,000 to $60 million in just 10 years. By the 1980s, New Balance had emerged from its humble beginnings to establish itself as a global footwear giant. Its unwavering commitment to quality, fit, and function has struck a chord with consumers around the world. The 1980s also witnessed New Balance's expansion into various sports markets. From tennis and basketball and baseball, New Balance Balance became a trusted name among athletes in diverse disciplines. This diversification allowed the brand to reach a broader audience, reinforcing its position as a formidable player in the sports and lifestyle footwear sectors. As the 1980s got underway, New Balance was up against stiff opposition from titans of the sector like Nike and Adidas. 
The marketing approach of New Balance was very dissimilar from that of its rivals. New Balance stayed firm in its devotion to fit, comfort, and customization, whereas Nike and Adidas were primarily concerned with aesthetics and trends. Their adherence to these values attracted a select group of discerning clients who valued content over fashion. The turning point came when New Balance embraced its unique identity and positioned itself as the go-to brand for those seeking the perfect fit. In this era, they introduced a range of running and athletic shoes that continued to emphasize superior comfort and support. Athletes and fitness enthusiasts soon realized that New Balance was more than just a brand. It was a promise of an unparalleled fit tailored to individual needs. By the late 20th century, New Balance had transcended its humble beginnings to become a billion-dollar brand with a global footprint. The company's unwavering commitment to quality, innovation, and a unique market niche had propelled it to the upper echelons of the athletic footwear industry. It agreed to a 10-year sponsorship agreement with the New York Roadrunners, the group that oversees the New York City Marathon, at the conclusion of 2015. In addition, the agreement required New Balance to oversee the New York Roadrunners e-commerce network to go even further. New Balance returned to its roots in 2018 when it agreed to sponsor the New York Mets baseball team. Additionally, New Balance promoted the Berry Amendment, a law passed in 1941 mandating that military uniforms for Americans be produced domestically. The Department of Defense finally awarded them a $17 million contract in 2018 to provide footwear to military trainees. New Balance numeric skateboarding shoes and another line named Fresh Foam were introduced by the company in the meantime time, collaborations with athletes, designers, and celebrities further elevated the brand's status. The iconic N logo became a symbol of quality and authenticity. New Balance was not just a brand. It had become a lifestyle choice for those who prioritized comfort, durability, and style. New Balance has successfully tapped into a younger demographic, as evidenced by the company's data. This shift in audience has led to New Balance earning a spot among the top 100 brands favored by millennials. The brand's financial prowess is undeniable, with New Balance boasting an impressive revenue of over $5 billion in the past year. Moreover, the company's valuation has skyrocketed to a remarkable $200 billion, underlining the immense success and financial strength it has achieved. So, they there you have it, the inspiring journey of how New Balance went from a chicken-inspired concept to a billion-dollar brand. It's a story of innovation, dedication, and a deep understanding of their customers' needs. New Balance's legacy is a testament to its unwavering commitment to comfort, quality, and innovation. But beyond innovation, New Balance embodies authenticity, ethical practices, and environmental responsibility. This legacy continues to inspire generations, reminding us that true success is not only about reaching the pinnacle of financial achievement, but also about staying true to one's core values. We really hope you enjoyed today's video. He saw a chicken and turned it into a billion dollar brand. Be sure to leave a like and comment below on what you loved about our video. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to never miss another great video. Until next time, we look forward to seeing you in our next video. Remember no dream is too big.